Welcome back to Kim's Creations. I am excited today. I am going to attempt to do a painting that I saw designer Gemma77 do on her YouTube channel. And I have just discovered her and I have been binge watching all that she does. So I'm going to attempt to do a swan using cling wrap. Yep. <laughs> so as you can see, um, I have painted the sides and just a little bit of the top of my canvas because I wanted a black base and um, I only have a white canvas. So what I'm gonna do first is I can see that that's wobbling. So because I'm using paint that's pretty fluid, I do wanna make sure that my canvas is level. So it needs to be propped up more on this side. Just grab a used popsicle stick, slide it under here, and that looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like this is always the big game. Uh, balancing out your canvas. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay. So we are ready to go. And I am going to just flood my canvas here. What is on there? I don't know what that was. All right, my white, very thick, definitely mound on a mound. It's not in a squeeze bottle, so this is gonna be interesting to see how I manage to drizzle this on using the stick. So let's give it a try. At least now I know that I need to place my swan a little further up. Definitely thick. Squeeze bottle would be so much easier, but hey. Why make this easy for myself? Actually, I know why, because then I'd have to clean out the bottle. So I'm just kind of making a two here. I just dribbled on myself, yep. to come out a little further. Okay. And yes, I'm dragging it now through the black paint, just making sure that I am wiping my popsicle stick off in between. And that, of course, has got to go. Little mistakes like that, you can just dab your finger in and erase away. I don't know if I want anymore that way. I think I'm good there. Okay. I fill that in. Improvise, right? I think that's his little tail. <laughs> okay. My 
poor Swan's neck could probably be a little better designed. Let's see if I can fix them up here a little bit. All right, I think I'm good with that. I'm gonna keep the white over here. Now I need to add in some of the silver. I am using, um, this time I'm using Deco Art silver, not the sterling silver. And there is a difference. This one's not quite as bright as the sterling silver. So I'm just adding little bits in here. Just wanted to give this painting a little bit of shimmer to it, hopefully. Just a little bit. That ought to do it. Okay. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna take maybe a bigger bunch of this. Cling wrap. Put this down. All right. Nice wad. I'm gonna try and be careful and more gentle with it. And let's start the rolling. This is working much better with the thicker paint. And I think I'm learning to uh, rotate <laughs> the cling film a little better. I'm just dipping the excess off. See what beautiful effects it gives? I mean, it truly does look like feathers. Okay, so now what I want to do that I saw Gemma do is she added more white in by having a puddle of white that she worked off of. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Blob of white. Just gonna add some to the bottom. I'm just going to go back in and dab some of that off. Beginning to get a bit of a hang of this. <laughs> Once you get uh, kind of this feather action down, the rotation of your wrist, it's uh, 
pretty cool. I like his feathers coming down. Do I want it coming down like that? I don't know that I do. That's got to go. Don't want a downward feather. Just fill that back in. Nothing to see here, peeps. Probably have to re-roll that though. That's okay. That's okay. Lots of white. Get a good bit here and oh that was terrible. Apparently even though I'm left-handed, I might be better served just sticking with my left hand. Maybe. And then again, maybe not. I'm telling you, Gemma makes this look really easy. And it's not that that hard you definitely need a thicker mix learn that um, and I think it's just about getting <laughs> figuring out your uh, control of of your uh, this stuff cling film
that's about as good as I'm gonna get because I don't draw. <laughs> what do you do? Not bad at finger painting though. Okay, I think I'm reasonably happy with my swan. I'm gonna just pop the bubbles. I'm shaking this. <laughs> and then I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close-up. There. And there we have it. My swan. I'm gonna pull back out and then zoom in this way. There we go. I guess his head didn't turn out that badly. Might have to fix his neck a little bit on that back side. And I'm really quite happy with his feathers. Very happy with that. All right, let me know what you guys think of this. And there is the final piece. Thanks so much for watching Kim's Creations. If you're a new viewer and you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing and please hit that thumbs up button. Love to hear what you think in the comments below. Until next time, bye for now.